I want you guys to know something. 1990, North Pole. 1990, North Pole. Moving at about a very slow rate in the 90s. Very, very slow rate, very consistent rate. But that began to change. Um, the North Pole, as it moves, satellites, GPS satellites have to be adjusted as it moves. When GPS came out, they were adjusting GPS systems probably about, uh, I'm going to give an estimate. Now I have the readings on the other ones, but back in the 90s when it first came out. Actually, it was before then, but their adjustments were every few years. They had to make some adjustments. That change, in fact, the frequency of adjustment became more and more because the North Pole was moving uh, far too much, right? We all know that. We can see that in the uh, weather. How the weather is right now, we can we can see how it's affecting everything. But it wasn't that bad, right? It wasn't that bad. So as they 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 adjusted satellites, probably about because 1990 the North Pole was moving about nine miles per year. That's not too much. Nine miles per year. Right? Two thousand comes. Those adjustments, huh? they really wreaked havoc on GPS satellites. In fact, in 2020, right? 1990, it was 9 miles per year. 2020, it was 40 miles per year. The North Pole went from moving 9 miles per year in 1990 to moving 40 miles per year in 2020. See an increase? Yes. GPS systems were updated probably about every five years um, because of the movement of the North Pole. 2020 GPS systems were updated every five months. So it went from five years to five months, the updates or the adjustments in GPS. 2024, that number is outrageous. It is outrageous. The, the absolute zone what they have to adjust is, is mind-boggling, right? So we have an exponential uh, increase in the poles' movement. Also, at the exact same time in 1990, our magnetosphere, right, the magnetic shielding around the Earth was at a specific rate. In... Um, in keeping with the change that we see happening, the field is weakened enormously. And it will continue to weaken. It seems like it's keeping track with the movement of the north. Now, this has happened before. This means that animals are going to lose their migration habits. They will end up in the wrong places. We, we are undergoing this right now. Right now. Okay? And it used to be thought that, uh, I remember somebody saying back in 2015, you know, if, if magnetic north and south change, no big deal. That was a general consensus. That's not the consensus now. Now they have a better understanding of what's taking place and what happened in times past. When the magnetic field becomes chaotic, which is what's happening now and diminishes, and then it turns into spaghetti. And then it will realign itself. But in that realignment, it goes away almost totally. All the radiation from the sun penetrates the atmosphere. Now, at first, the atmosphere absorbs the heat from the sun. We see that happening right now. We're, we're undergoing this process right now, as we speak right now. The atmosphere, even even if the magnetosphere all of a sudden went away right now, it doesn't mean we'd burn up. It means that the atmosphere would absorb the radiation. It would become hotter and hotter, right? You would have an increase in cloud coverage. An increase. 
I have a term for that. What, what, this, what we're seeing is a type of atmospheric compression with particulate, or particulate injection into the upper atmosphere with a diminishing magnetosphere. Boy, oh boy. It's going to get rough. This change in the poles magnetically causes a physical change in the planet, right? Plus, it causes great or, or bigger earthquakes. Now, you guys do understand that uh, the last, let's say about the last uh, eight big earthquakes have shifted the axis of the Earth. You guys do understand that, right? They thought that to be impossible. Um, but when um, the, the Fukushima earthquake hit, that shifted the uh, axis. Um, those two earthquakes in Haiti and Peru, that shifted, or Chile, that shifted the axis. So these big earthquakes are shifting the axis of the Earth physically. And they're going to cause this flipping of the poles magnetically of the Earth, right, to cause an even bigger wobble, which is going to affect the equator naturally. Because if we start shifting, if our, if our poles continue to shift, the equator will realign itself with the sun, essentially. And the rotation of the earth is going to be chaotic as it wobbles, which means the equator will stretch in a way. You have to see it by graphic, right, so that you will understand. Because it's going to be chaotic. It is said now that it's going to reach all the way to the Great Lakes, into portions of Canada. It won't maintain itself there. In other words, say for example, the equator goes through the Great Lakes one week, through Canada the next week, through the southern half of the USA the next week. And then of course it repeats that cycle. This is what we're getting into. So it's going to have a wide area that it will affect. It's not going to be, you know, clean. It's not going to be decent. It's not going to be the equator just moves up in this organized fashion. No, it's going to be a very chaotic time. That means our weather phenomena, it'll change even more. And actually, it means we have not uh, experienced the heavy changes. Not yet. We haven't. And of course, Earth is being affected this way. So are the other planets. Did you know that Mars, it too, is being affected in a big way? Magnetically, Jupiter is likewise. So is Neptune. So is Mercury. Right? So we have something. The, these effects is happening in our solar system. Um, we're finally being able to observe them. To to see the damages they're going to cause. It's just unfortunate. We live in a time when these things are happening right now. I mean, right now, right? This will cause, uh, you know, NASA's going to have to make some major changes in space and the plans about space. Most, have you guys noticed, uh, most of the rich are preoccupied with attempting to leave Earth. Have you noticed that? Have we noticed? There's a plan to occupy another type rapid, a rapid uh, deployment of a station will take place. And they're trying to make it where people can actually occupy space for about three years. Not go to another planet necessarily, but occupy space for about three, three to four years, I'll say. They will attempt to escape some of these rapid changes in the earth. Of course, we know that's not going to work out too well. In the Bible, it says that though you ascend up to the heavens, I'll pull you down, the Lord said. Right? So the Lord has, uh, you know, already dealt with that topic. If they go down to the center of the earth or in the earth, the Lord will get them, pull them up. If they ascend up to the, uh, you know, up to the heavens, he'll pull them down. So uh, they, they can't... Uh, they're not going to dodge what's coming. They're not. And we're extremely close. Very close. This has been The Confidential Report. For even more stories like this one, 
make sure to subscribe to our channel today. And please show your support by clicking the like button on this video. For even more stories and news you deserve to know the truth about, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Thank you for watching The Confidential Report.